Hello there and welcome to this tutorial. If you take a look on the screen here, I have a portal frame made with the Parabuild tools. This is a pump house. Now what I want to do is just to lay a piping network which will be linked up with a pump housed within this building. You're seeing the screen here. The key point I'm trying to drive in here is just to show you how Parabuild is able to link up with other applications to improve your projects. Let's get started. I'm Maurice Dimba and always don't forget or never forget to subscribe to this educative channel. Now we have a, build, a simple building here. Now first of all, let me delete something here that will, is trying to show a preview of where we are, we are heading to. Now, this is a simple portal frame, but though it, it, it is not complete. And uh, what I'm, I'm trying to show you is how Parabuild together with, uh, with other applications is able to improve uh, your project's uh, output. Now, here, we are under, uh, we are, we are under Parabuild modeling and we have Parabuild output. Now, I want to work with these two, these two tools. I have, I have MakeQ and I have Parabuild. So I want to interoperate with, within these two. Now, MakeQ uh, Make has facilities to do with uh, pipe work, ducting, and other, uh, and other simple and other basic structural uh, modeling. Now, I've made a simple uh, portal frame building here. Now, I want just to lay my piping to show how th these pipes will be connecting with the pump th that will be housed within this building. So I'll, I'll lay in the inlets and outlet pipe network. Now, I'll press shift and I'll be able to hold my milled button on the mouse. This is uh, a parabuild environment. So I want to bring in some tools from MakeQ and improve this particular uh, simple model. Now, I have all uh, I've, uh, I've already placed my guidelines on on how I want my pipes to be to be laid in. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch off from Parabuild and now go to MakeQ. The key point is how you uh, Parabuild is is opening up and you're able to interoperate within Parabuild or link up with other with other applications and they link up seamlessly. Now um, I'll come to make you and switch back to uh, to piping here. I'll click on I'll, I'll click on piping right there and I'll pick on on my first option here. Now I leave my pipe diameter to 100 right there and type of of pipe I'll just leave, I'll, I'll just leave it cast iron flanged. Now I'll pick on that 100 uh, 900 and class I can just leave it uh, I can just leave the pipe wall reaching at 1.2 or 51 uh, that is a class. Now let me just go straight and start laying my pipe work. Just a demonstration how uh, I want. I'm assuming this is my project, or you, you, uh, 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 I'm the consultant, and I'm trying to show the customer. Um, uh, I'm trying to show the customer what he might be arriving at. Now let me just start here and I start laying my pipe work right from that spot, and I'll define it to that spot. That's pipe pipe work lay, layout. Now I'll, I'll snap on that spot, then uh, I'll right click to terminate or to complete that layout. Now I'll select on this and zoom out closely and I want to create another one from that spot and I'll stretch all the way to that, uh, to that position and uh, I'll direct it to that position and I'm not able to see this far end. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use uh, the Parabuild uh, uh, keyboard shortcut by pressing shift and, and, and holding my middle button on the mouse. So if I rotate like that, I'm able to rotate. Now I'll, I'll terminate it right there and uh, right click to terminate that pipe work. Now I'm, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to exit from that. And uh, this seems to be a, a, rep uh, a repetitive uh, operation. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going uh, once again to rotate this. So here I'm going to select on this pipe and uh, select on this remember in in uh, in AutoCAD environment you don't need to press control to to to, to make selections we we'll just continue selecting and AutoCAD will, will be able to read or whatever you're trying to do now let me co uh, select on that also right click and come to copy I'll, I'll select copy right there now I'll snap on that spot move all move all the way to this uh, to this position right here let me just zoom closer 
and I'm trying to snap on accurate position and they'll snap on that spot. Zoom, uh, zoom out and I'll snap on that spot. I'll zoom out and snap on a particular spot here and zoom out. Um, I'm, I'm trying to create a pipe network here that will be bringing in fluid into, uh, that will be sucked into the pump system and be pumped out, uh, out of the pump, a pump housed within this a simple portal frame building. So let me just uh, place this pipe network here, place another one right there, and place another one right there. And place a final one here. Let me just zoom out and make sure I snap on accurate position right there. So I have all these in place. So I'll right click and terminate that command. And uh, I'll, tr I'll, I'll come to shift here and try to press, hold my shift and press my, uh, the, the middle button on the mouse. And I'll be able to rotate this. Now, I've, I've drafted or I've laid out the inlet pump. So there's some pipes that will be coming out to, to link up with the pump that will be placed here later on. So... Uh, the outlet pumps will also be similar to this. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to rotate this and place it into, into a position that, that I'll be able to select all, all these components. One go. So I'll select all this like that and I'll select that. Then uh, I'll press shift, hold my mild button on the mouse and leave it right there. So prior to uh, uh, prior to copying it or, or mirroring all these components here on, on the opposite direction, I have to change my UCS. To and to change your UCS, just come at the bottom end here, and uh, on on that command, just type UCS right there and enter on your keyboard. So what I'm going to do, I'm I'm going to reorient my X Y Z plane, so I'll define or place it somewhere here to help me make or mirror these objects or this pipe work in the opposite direction to the opposite direction no now let me just press shift and rotate this and i want to rotate this into a position that I'll be, I'll be able to select everything in a simpler way so let me just place it right there so i'm going to select everything i'll, uh, I'll select everything here create that window and i'll select this so once I've done that, I'll press shift and hold my middle button on the mouse and I'll leave it somewhere there. So I want to mirror this in the opposite direction and the simplest way to do, just type mirror. Just type MI and enter on your keyboard and I'll pick this position as my mirror point or mirror line. So I'll snap on that spot. Make sure you snap on the midpoint of that, uh, of that uh, apex connection. So I'll just move right at the bottom end here, make sure you are uh, you are, your snap is accurate and uh, pointing right in the exact position i'm trying to uh, snap at the middle point here and due to graphics it's somehow shifting or not snapping in the ac in the appropriate uh, position so w once you've defined your mirror line what i'm going to do i'm just going to right click to accept and click enter so I'll just give you some time to mirror everything so we have everything in this direction. So I'll press shift and I'll be able to turn this round. So the pump, the pumps will be laid in or will be installed in at the middle end here. So let me just turn this round like this and this is how it, uh, this is how it looks. So this is how, uh, I mean, Parabuild is able to link up with, uh, with other uh, softwares that works on AutoCAD platform. This is the beauty of using Parabuild, and uh, I wish you could, you'd be able to give it a try by visiting their website. Uh, now, if you switch back to Parabuild here, you'll be able to see a Parabuild output, and this is where we access or we access all the tools for generating the drawings. So remember, if you generate a 3D drawing, all these pipes pipes will, will will be drafted or will be generated so that is a point to discuss next time so the point just to today just to show you how you you can interoperate uh, with uh, with parabuild and other softwares like the make you if you want to create some mechanical drawings or plant drawings and you need some structures or part of frame uh, uh, within autocad environment this is the beauty of parabuild now, let me just press shift and turn it around as you can see how it looks. So if I turn it like this, you'll be able to see how my pipes are laid and uh, 
and uh, they are able to to link up with the pump that will be installed right inside this simple building. So the portal, uh, portal frame is not yet complete, and uh, once uh, you've you've communicated well of what to expect or or what will be will be housed within this building, it's very important, and this is very is very important to share with your with your client uh, because this is how you communicate with the person who doesn't picture exactly what you what you're doing so if you draft a 3d here if he will you, he, he, you and him will be able to communicate from a common ground so don't forget to subscribe to this channel and this is just enough for today and let's meet then bye bye Morris Dimba, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and bye bye stay safe